Welcome to This Week in Burbank for May 11th through May 18th, 2013. Good news as we look towards the summer. The renovations at the pool at Verdugo Park are moving along, you could say, swimmingly. Last week, workers applied the final coats of plaster before filling the pool with water for the first time in almost five years. Stay tuned to This Week in Burbank to see when the pool will open for all to enjoy later this spring. This may have looked like a hazardous materials incident at the Burbank Airport, but it was only a test. The drill utilized students from the College of the Canyons to train on how to respond in the event of a wide-scale exposure to pesticide. Fire departments from the cities of Burbank and Glendale and the Bob Hope Airport joined St. Joseph Hospital and a number of local ambulance companies for the simulation. It's just one of many drills that are done annually to make sure Burbank's first responders are always trained to handle emergencies in the city. Shifted, shifted in forward, shifted, shifted in reverse, domestic foreign, I please you beat my service. A Burbank transmission repair business is gaining a lot of fame this week thanks to an internet video that's gone viral. The deliberately unique commercial produced by Burbank-based internet personalities Rhett and Link have been viewed nearly 3 million times so far thanks to exposure from outlets like Yell and DeGeneres Show, Autoblog, and CBS News. Check out the commercial, Shift It, on YouTube, and stay tuned. Burbank On Demand will feature Rhett and Link in a future story about Burbank's smaller production companies that are having a big impact on new media. Now looking ahead to what's coming up in Burbank, the Burbank Police Department, along with the Burbank Unified School District, is hosting its second annual Teen Safe Night. Join them Thursday, May 16th at John Muir Middle School at 6.30 p.m. And the Burbank City Council will continue to review the budget for the 2013-2014 fiscal year at its meetings over the next several weeks. Each of the city's departments will present their budget and outline their revenues and spending for the coming year. You can see the proposed budget and provide vital feedback by visiting burbankca.gov and clicking on the images on the homepage or by attending a city council meeting in person. That's going to do it for This Week in Burbank. I'm Todd Wilson.